The tool that we want to talk about for helping people have insights is called constructivist listening and I learned it from Nancy Luna Jimenez, you can look her up, a great cross-cultural trainer and facilitator. And it comes from reevaluation counseling, but it's a technique that has been used a lot in the groups that I work with and with educational groups. Julian Wiseglass came up with it. Basically what you're doing, the things that make it insightful for people is that you use a timer so everybody gets the same amount of time creates equity and equality between each of the speakers and listeners and the second thing is that it's um, confidential and that creates safety for people to share their best thinking and so let me show you on this flip chart what we have in mind in terms of what it might look like so uh, I would recommend doing it you can do it just with two people but if you did it in a group of four people for example they'd be sitting around without tables and chairs and so here they are and you've given them a question a question to ask, to answer together. Each person, person one, takes the time that you've allotted. Maybe it's five minutes, and if you start at three o'clock, they go to three o five, and then you ring the bell, and this person stops talking. Knows in advance that when the bell rings, they just stop talking. They've done their best thinking. They've had all three other people listen to them really carefully and respectfully, and then person two goes. So that person has the same amount of time if you give them three, the first person three minutes, the second person is three minutes, the third person is three minutes, the fourth. And once you've all gone ahead, nobody is referring to any, what anyone else said before, even though it's a generic question, it still allows the safety for them to come up with whatever their mind wants to do. And when you have that safety, people will go places that they don't normally go because they know that no one is going to criticize or beat down their idea. And that's really amazing for insightful thinking. So when everyone is finished, each person can offer, you know, out of my speaking time, I think this is the best idea I would like to put forward on this topic. And each person can do that. And then I might say, well, you know what, do you mind if I refer to some idea you said because I thought it was great. If that person gives me permission, I'd say, you also said this, and I think that would be a key thing to report back to the group. Would you be willing to have that shared with the whole group? And so always ask permission if you're asking to share someone, and never criticize or negate anything anyone said, because that, that destroys the safety of the rich thinking. And don't forget to sign up for our tips below.